So you just got yourself a new computer or you are thinking of getting one for yourself and you may want to use it for playing video games but you are uncertain what to do once you actually turn your computer on for the first time and this video is exactly for you. So I'm showing you how you get your system set up properly and how you install your games. So my computer is an HP um, 800 Elite Desk G1 small form factor computer and it has an NVIDIA graphics card installed. To be precise, it is an NVIDIA GT 1030 2GB graphics card which is on the entry level but it will get me by. So when you turn on your computer, it actually comes packed with all the drivers that it needs to, to work. So it isn't like back in the days when Windows 98 or something was relevant, uh, where you would have to install all the drivers manually and dig through the internet. Yeah, actually really dig through the internet to get all the drivers installed. So you will land on this desktop here. It's very generic looking Windows 10. I have Windows 10 Pro installed. And the first thing you want to check out is whether you have recent NVIDIA drivers installed. It is very important because NVIDIA develops drivers for games. So if you play a game that has been released, let's say, a few months ago, but you're using a driver that is older than the game, your hardware just isn't optimized for the game so you are losing out on performance and sometimes you actually get some real issues playing the games so you type a right click on your desktop and you go, you can go to nvidia control panel sometimes it really takes a while to open up i don't know why so you just confirm and continue and now we can play the waiting game. Oh, actually, it's quite, quite quick. And here you can see the most important thing about your um, driver. Mine is version 456.71. So this one is a driver revision of your graphics card. And now you want to cross-reference your version with the most recent version that NVIDIA is offering on its web page. So you can go to, I opened up Edge, you have Edge installed on your computer too, and you type in NVIDIA driver download. I'm a German speaker, so <laughs> I will type in NVIDIA driver download, but that doesn't matter. So we, I just go to the English page now, that is a little bit easier for you. Now. This is actually the page you want to go download drivers slash NVIDIA because it leads you right here where you can choose uh, basically let select your graphics card. So first of all, product type, we have a GeForce part it says right here, GeForce. And so we go to GeForce and now NVIDIA wants to know what product series you're using. So it says RTX 30 series notebooks. We don't have a notebook here and it isn't an RTX 30 series um, GPU installed. Ours is a 10 series graphics card. So we go to GeForce 10 series. And here you we go to GeForce GT 10 30, which is exactly our model. We have Windows 10 64 bit installed. I really hope and pray you have 64 bit installed. Um, I couldn't imagine why you would have 32 bit installed. And download type, you don't need to change anything here. I'll leave mine in English, it doesn't matter to me at all. And we go to search. And now we can see like the most recent version would be 465.89, which dates back to the 30th uh, March 2021. So it is much newer than our driver revision. So it has actually quite some revisions um, in between. We go and we can just go and download it and download the driver. We let that do in the background. So 
what we go what we're gonna do now is we open up a second tab on uh, Microsoft Edge and I type in Ninight download. Ninight is actually a very nifty tool in the internet. You can download um, several applications through this tool and it downloads it without any you know of the malware crap that you really don't want on your computer. So I am a Firefox user I don't usually use um, Edge and I also usually get myself Dropbox installed or like WinRAR to unzip files. Then you can also get yourself Discord if you are into that. Um, it also has open source software available such as Thunderbird for your email and uh, like free software like GIMP whatever you need. You can also get Steam off of here. Steam is a launcher for video games. So if you want to install some games, it's a little bit different than on consoles because there are different kind of game launchers out here. So some games are exclusive to a Steam launcher. Some games such as Fortnite are exclusive to Epic Games and so on. Um, I'm just going to get myself Firefox, WinRAR and VLC media player. Audacity is actually also a tool I use quite often for audio processing. And yeah, that's it. So I'm going to get my Ninite and open Ninite up. And now you can see the beauty of this tool. It will prepare the setup. You click yes. And now it will just install your software that you choose and it will just do all the work for you. It's very easy. So we'll add this here. I will close the NVIDIA control panel and then open up the freshly downloaded driver that is actually recent because we really need that. And we're gonna install this one. We accept this here, press OK. And it's really, um, straightforward is very easy so you just let this uh, installer unpack all the data that you're needing and yeah i mean in the meantime there's nothing else to do really so i fast forward now the nvidia software is actually checking the system compatibility with this uh, driver so if you have like an amd graphics card installed and you're trying to install the nvidia driver it will give you an error because it would really brick your system in a software way so the hardware will be fine but your computer <laughs> may exhibit some weird um, behavior so we will go and install the graphics card driver and geforce experience you can leave out geforce geforce experience if you don't need it i mean me i actually don't really need geforce experience at all but it also doesn't hurt to just install it. So I confirm and continue. I go for Express. You can also go for um, your own um, preferences. So if you don't want to install HD audio drivers or something like that, but I really don't recommend going this route. I just go for Express and let the driver do its work. Now, while installing a driver it is really recommended just leave your computer like this don't do anything on it because it will initialize your um, your graphics card freshly so uh, like the screen will go blank a few times and come back up and so on so it's a little, a little bit sketchy just um, leave your computer running like this now that you have your new driver installed make sure you um, restart your computer so it can actually um, verify the new driver and it will actually also run on it so if you want to just check you can press the right button on your um, on your mouse and you go to nvidia control panel and here we can check whether our version is the most recent one which should align with the one we downloaded which is 465.89 465.89 so we have the most recent nvidia driver installed 
here's one more thing that I want to show you. So you just you just installed um, VLC Media Player or Firefox or like Chrome, therefore. And you also want your Windows to recognize these two software or other tools as your um, primary like web browser. You can, you actually must change this in the in the um, settings of your computer because otherwise it will always choose Edge as your primary um, explorer or media player for your audio files. So you can go to Start. And then you go to um, settings and then we go to apps and standard apps and you can see all the standard apps listed for several um, use cases so for example music player if you don't like Groove Music, you can go and choose like Windows Media Player or whatever you have installed on your computer and then for um, video player, you can choose VLC media player and web browser. We change over to Firefox. I will ask you, are you actually sure if you want to change over? <laughs> yes, I will change anyway. So now we have Firefox as our primary web browser or Chrome. Therefore, it, I mean, it really doesn't matter which one you're using. So now we have everything set up. And now you're ready to play games, but there are no, I mean, there are games installed on this computer. Let's say, um, I never play <laughs> pre-installed games on a computer. <laughs> They're like solitaire collection and stuff installed. So you don't find them. Fortnite, if you want to, let's say you want to play Fortnite. Where is Fortnite? There's no Fortnite on this computer. So you have to install it manually by yourself, but it's actually much easier than you think it is. Fortnite is a game by Epic. So what you want to go to is Epic. So we go to Epic Games. All right. Yes, I accept that. And we go to the official site of Epic. And I explained you earlier when you installed um, some of these programs that certain games have certain game launchers and we need the Epic Game Launcher. So we go um, get yourself the Epic Games or like the Epic Game Launcher. Uh, we um, download this one, install it. Uh, yeah, I will. Yes, so I go for C as my drive and install the Epic Games Launcher on my computer. So here we are into the Epic Games Launcher. Now I go to um, store. I will search for Fortnite. There it is. And you can go to, yes, I'm already owning this one. Now I can see all the games that I own and I will go to install. But before I do that, I just want to go ahead and do something else because I have a secondary drive installed that isn't initialized yet. So I will go to this here. And get my secondary drive initialized. So once you're here, you actually want to go ahead I mean, it is very easy if you install it on your C drive, I, but I don't want, I, I want to install it on my D drive. So I go to volume D, I make a new folder, which is called um, program files. Then I make a new folder, which is called Epic Games. And I just switch over this one from C to D. 
now I'll find all these uh, folders in my in my D drive and yeah let's install this game on this computer yes all right now it's installing the game and epic games has um, something that i really don't like so when you turn on your computer the launcher will start with your computer and depending on how um, strong your computer is it may have a bigger or a lower impact on your system performance so what i want to do is i go to settings i go to apps and auto start so here you can see all the software that starts with your computer and i don't want epic games launcher to start with my computer because i i don't play games all the time so it really isn't needed to uh, launch the epic games launcher and it is just a program that will stress your system in the background and it just yeah it's a waste in my opinion so i'm gonna turn this one off and if i want to play fortnite let's say i just open up the epic games launcher for that yeah and that's basically it so we have our system set up it is um ready for playing games you have the most recent nvidia driver installed and you're installing fortnite right now and once you're into fortnite i will probably do a new video and show you how you um, choose the right settings to get the most performance out of your computer and the most enjoyable experience also this one is a very very basic guide so i just showed you the um yeah the basics of how you set up your computer but there's actually much more you can do there are some um, tweaks that you could do to your um, operating system so it isn't uh, it has less stuff running in the background and clunking up your system um, i will also show you in a new video how you can get your windows 10 tuned so you get rid of all the bloatware that might be installed on your computer when you bought it and um, how you can make windows just that a little bit more snappy but that's it for now i hope you enjoyed this video um, I hope that you could um, actually use some of my tips and tricks and it made you more comfortable with your computer or with your um, decision whether you want to get one or not. And yeah, see ya.